Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Christine. If you are new here, if you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell so you know if I have a new video, give this a big thumbs up, and comment down below video ideas you have for me. Oh, that was fast. Today's video, I'm actually really excited to film. I normally film my intro before I actually film the video, so I'm really excited to film this. I cannot wait. Um, today I am filming a 10 um, life hacks slash tips on how to feel your best you. If you don't know what that means, it means how to feel your best self, how to feel like you, how to feel confident in yourself, how to love yourself, how to make yourself feel better, like, like things that you can actually do to boost your confidence. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. These tips and hacks are kind of like in order, like from the beginning leading up. The first one is a tip, and this tip is to know that everyone's different. And by that, I mean like, you guys probably see these models online, you know, they're gorgeous, they're perfect, whatever, quote unquote perfect. First of all, nobody's perfect. Second of all, everyone is beautiful just the way they are, no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what hair color you have, you are beautiful no matter what. And everybody is, and I want you guys to know that. You have to know that about, you don't have to, now it's really great, you have to know that you need to love yourself and you have to, you have to know that everyone is different. You also have to know that you are not going to look like everybody else. No matter how hard you try, plastic surgery, makeup, hair extensions, nothing's really gonna make you look like the person you wanna look like. So you might as well just look like yourself. You might as well, just be yourself and that is the first tip hey everybody i'm editing this video right now and i just want to let you guys know that if you do struggle with you know feeling confident in yourself and loving yourself you can always reach out to me um my comments on my my second video ago is open um so you can always you know comment below down there i'll definitely check my comments so if you struggle with it definitely reach out and i'll definitely try my best to help you um but i love you guys all so much Next life hack would be, this one is a huge one. This one is to wake up on a decent amount of time. This is to wake up before 10 o'clock and make your bed. This is like, this is the biggest thing. Wake up early and make your bed and, the, and open your shades. Those are things you want to do. This is all one hack because you want to do this because you will get up in the morning, you'll, you'll have part of your room clean and you will just feel like a good person. Like you'll feel like, you'll, you know, you'll feel good inside. You'll feel happy. You'll feel energetic. You'll feel productive. And that is one tip to, and one hack to lead to you feeling confident in yourself. When your room is clean and that makes you happy, that makes you more confident and happy in yourself. I have the hiccups, guys. I'm sorry. But that will make you more confident and happy with how you are and how your room is. So just clean your room. Make your bed. Open your shades. And wake up early. And when I say wake up early, I mean like wake up before 10 o'clock. The latest 10 o'clock. Wake up at like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. And I know it's early. You just get up. Make, it, make that bed. Open the shades. Get dressed. Brush your teeth. And go on with your day. Because... I'm telling you right now, if you don't do that, it's going to be really hard to love yourself when you're very unproductive. If you're very productive and you're getting up, you're getting dressed, you're, you know, you're getting ready, you're going to feel better about yourself. And that's one tip that I wish I knew when I was like younger, I guess, because I would just sit in bed all day and do nothing. And now I've always loved being an early bird. I always wake up early. I always wake up at eight o'clock, but I would sit in my bed for three hours and do nothing until 11 o'clock and then get up and stay in my pajamas all day and make like not make my bed, keep my shades closed and be just unproductive. So guys, I want to let you know that if you don't, when you wake up in the morning, if you don't make your bed and don't clean your room stuff, that's totally okay if that's how you are. Like no judgment at all. I'm just um, explaining to you that it can really help. Sorry for the hiccups guys. It can really help, you know, make you feel better about yourself, but don't think that I'm like telling you you have to like it's just a really good suggestion and a really really good idea that you guys should do but if not that's totally okay don't even worry about it just you know love yourself I love you guys but for me with YouTube and school if and just feeling my best self I wake up every morning I make my bed I open my shades I get dressed well I get dressed and then open my shades and then I, I maybe put makeup on I do my hair my glasses on i brush my teeth i eat i feel good about myself because i get ready and i'm being productive now if you do that it's going to help you feel your best self i promise you okay, this third one is a tip this one is if you have acne this is also like this is this one's a life hack and a tip so if you guys struggle with acne um you know i i've been very blessed in my clear skin i do get acne every every once in a while um i have been every little bit i'm actually wearing makeup right now but you know a really good tip and this is like super important not just to get rid of acne not to just clear it up but for your health 
and to stay healthy is water drink water drink a gallon a day if you can don't chug it all down your throat within an hour because that's really unhealthy you can actually die from that someone has so don't drink too much in a little time frame drink a little bit drink a lot with breakfast drink a whole bottle of breakfast drink a whole bottle at lunch drink a whole bottle at night just make sure you're drinking more than a bottle of water a day honestly more than that um i do have a hydro flask and i hate being called a visco girl because i'm really not but the reason i got that water bottle was so i drink enough water a day that has 32 ounces in it i got one of the biggest bottles and i drink i know that i drink 32 ounces a day i drink i try to drink two of those a day which means i drink 64 ounces of water a day which is really good for you so I recommend if you hydro flasks are expensive i know i accident i actually bought that with my own money like i genuinely i regret it a little bit because they're really expensive but i don't regret it because i drink so much water a day and i'm so much more healthy and happy and productive my skin is clear and i'm telling you it's because i drink water so please just drink 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 water okay so this fourth um life hack this is actually a life hack to me because it works so much better and it makes me feel like a better person at night. Like, I know that, like, sometimes if I slept with makeup on, I would wake up the next day and feel like doo-doo. Like, I would feel awful. I'd just be like, ew, I need to wash my face. I need to put my hair up. I need to take a shower. I just need to clean myself up. But if you do that the night before, you'll totally feel better the day the next day. Um, so, like, this, this hack is to wash your face. They have very inexpensive um, face products out there. I use Cetaphil. It's a holy grail thing. Like, I love that thing so much. I literally can rub my eyes with it and my eyes don't even like burn or anything because it's that good. Um, if you guys want to see what products I use in my pamper routine or my skincare routine, go check out my video. It's on my channel. I, put, I posted a few days ago. It's my pamper routine. It has all the skincare products I use. They're all really inexpensive. They're all like really cheap So and they're really good. So you can also order them off Amazon. So if you can't get them right now, order them off Amazon. I got you. But just wash your face. Keep your skin clear because it, I'm telling you. And... Even if you don't wear makeup, it's a good thing to do. And I'm saying if you wear makeup, a lot of people go to bed at night with their makeup on. So sometimes it's like, I cannot tell you many times I'm getting ready for bed and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to do my skincare routine right now. But I have makeup on. And even if I don't, I force myself to wash my face. Even if I don't put on like my scrub and stuff, I force myself to just wash my face. That way I feel better in the morning and I'm not going to have to worry about sleeping with makeup on and putting all that dirt into my skin. Like that's really bad to sleep with makeup on. Not just like... To get it all over your pillow but for your skin it's gonna cause acne it's gonna cause you to break out it's gonna get into your pores it's gonna make your pores bigger well not necessarily your pores bigger it's gonna make them dirtier it's gonna make your skin just dry out oily it's not gonna be good so just wash your face i'm telling you just do it number five is something that i swear by and i have been doing for about a year now and i could you not if i could i should have known about this when i first got an iphone now if you don't have an iphone don't worry that's totally okay make a to-do list on your phone um if you guys have an iphone you guys would know about the reminders app on your iphone maybe you don't know about it. guys i use this thing every single day oh my god that thing reminds me everything i need to do i will i literally have fun with it so what I do is I use this reminders app and I'll set an example up here of one of the reminders I set um, for tomorrow actually. This is a reminder, so an example of one for you guys. But no, um, it's great. It's amazing. The reminders app, basically I write in my reminder I want to be reminded. I set the day and the time I want to be reminded. So like normally what I'll do is I'll set for the next day and I'll put 6 a.m. That way like when I wake up it's already straight up on my phone. Like let's say I want to wake up, I'm planning to wake up at 9. So I set my reminder at 9. But I wake up earlier than 9. I wake up at like 8 and then I forget what I need to do. So I'm not going to be that, I'm not going to get that reminder. I'm going to be lazy. So I set it as early as possible when I know I'm not going to be awake. So like when I school I'll set it at 4 a.m. Not even kidding. I will set it at 4 a.m. That way when I wake up at 7 or 6, I see it right away. Because I, I know that I'll see it if I set it at 4 a.m. No matter what time I wake up. Because I'm not going to wake up before 6. No. Um, but just use it. And you can have fun with it too. Like my example that I showed up, you guys probably saw, I do emojis. I, instead of doing like periods, I separate it with emojis. So in the morning, I'll do I'll put wake up with a sun emoji. And then I'll do make a breakfast burrito with a little burrito emoji. And then I'll do get ready with a little lipstick emoji. And then I'll do um, make my bed with a little bed emoji. Then I'll do like get dressed with a little, oh yeah, I already said that. Yeah, get dressed with like a little teacher. Like I love having fun with it because not only does it look cute, but it makes me want to get up. It makes me want to be productive. Like I said, back to going to the second tip slash hack, get up and be productive. It makes me want to do that. It makes me want to get up and be productive because then I can look back at it and be like, okay, I got everything done on here, everything. And that having a to-do list is really good, especially having it on your phone because 
I have a planner and I love my planner. I write in my planner all the time. I tell myself what to do, but I'm not going to remember to check my planner. It's on paper. It doesn't remind me, you know what I mean? So on my phone, it's really good to just have that. Um, I love it. So I really recommend, really seriously recommend to do that. Six, this is actually a hack. Um, this, this could also be like a tip, but this is more of a hack to me because I started doing this and I, I had less stress. I had so much more confidence in like me, I guess, in my life. So basically what I started to do was, um, take time for myself. Now I would wake up in the morning and this is, this is like a weekend day for me. Like a, let's say I'm staying home all day and I have so much stuff to do. I'm going to listen. I wake up, I go on my phone for like 20 minutes, realistically probably more, but let's say 20 minutes. I get up, I go upstairs, or not go upstairs, I make my bed, I get dressed, I get ready. And then I make breakfast, I eat breakfast, I do my chores. After I do my chores, I film a video, I edit that video. It takes me like, it could take me up to four hours just to film and edit a video combined. Then I have to upload that video, wait for the video to upload, which could take up to an hour depending on where like your Wi-Fi and everything like that. Lately it's been going really good, but... And then by that time, it's already late in the day. I have to eat lunch because it's already like three o'clock or later. And then I have to eat dinner. And then I have to take a shower, or maybe work out and go to bed. But that for me, like that right there, filming a YouTube video now, I instead of making that as like my requirement thing, I now do it as a hobby. I do it because I enjoy it. I do it because I've always done YouTube because I enjoy it. That's one of my only things. I've always done it f to enjoy it, but sometimes, during my YouTube, I'm not gonna say career journey because like I'm not even like there yet, but like during being during doing YouTube videos, making them, uploading them weekly, it was so hard for me because I felt like it was requ required to do, especially with school. And now that I realize like it's not requirement, like if I need a break, that's a break because a lot of times you do, and that's okay. Take time for yourself. You guys can see right here, that's my Fortnite. That is Fortnite. I play video games. I love video games. I play, I watch my brother play video games. I play with my brother. I love it. I love it. Fortnite is one of the only video games that I play all the time on a daily basis, but weekly basis, but I love it. And it's something that I take time to do for myself. I always make sure that I have one thing to do for myself, whether it's Fortnite, playing football with my brother, which I just did before I filmed this video, I was playing outside football with my brother, whether it's doing that, whether it's being outside, getting active, working out. I love being, I love working out and getting exercise in. I love it so much. But yeah, just that being said, take time for yourself. Do things that make you happy. Seventh hack to feeling your best self. And this is actually more, this is a tip and a hack combined. Another one of these um, is to exercise. Now I mentioned this in my last tip, just exercise, whether that's a walk outside with your dog or by yourself, listening to music or just taking a run or in your room. If you don't have equipment, you can't afford equipment. That's totally okay. Like don't even worry about that. Just where, where you are, Search up some Pinterest videos. Pinterest is free, so you can totally go on Pinterest and look up some workouts. They have plenty on there for whatever you want to work out, whether it's your butt, your legs, your abdomen, um, your arms, whatever you want to work out. You want to do cardio, do that. Like just do stuff in your house. I promise you, you can, um, no matter what. If you even if you can't afford to go to a gym or you don't have like there's no space to run outside or your neighborhood's too small, that's totally okay. Don't even worry about that. Just do some stuff in your house. Okay, my eighth tip, which is actually a very good tip, and this is like kind of be kind of a little more deep. Um, this is gonna be a little more in in your feels, you know what I mean? Okay. So if you are struggling with feeling your best self, if you are struggling with loving yourself, if you're struggling with people being mean to you, if you're struggling with anything like that, and I know this is something very uncomfortable. I went through it. It's not like, it's very uncomforting to do at first, but then eventually once you start to know the person and you get the hang of it, you get the hang of going, you get the hang of knowing the person, you get the hang of the exercises to do. It's very relaxing and it helps. It really does take it from someone who went, like it helps you so much with whatever you're dealing with. It helps you so much with just calming down and relaxing and it helps you loving yourself so much more than you do. And, um, you know, it, it's amazing. And I'm just gonna say it already cause I keep rambling on about it. I might as well just say it. Um, go to therapy, get a therapist. And some of you may have expected me to say that, some of you didn't. And if you didn't expect me to say that, you're probably like, oh God, no, no. I'd rather just talk to my friends. A therapist is specialized in psychology. They're specialized in helping you 
fix whatever thought you have going on in your brain. They're specialized and trained to do that for you. Your friends, they can help you. They can, they really can. If, especially if they've gone through it, they can definitely help you, so can your parents. But sometimes it feels like they can't, and when they can't, not saying a therapist can, but I am saying that they can help you feel better about it. They can help you feel better about yourself, whether that's, whether you just went through a divorce and you're struggling with getting to that, whether, or whether your parents did, whether you're struggling with bullying, whether you're struggling with loving yourself, whether you're struggling with your weight, what, no matter what it is, they are specialized to help you. And obviously they can't be specialized in every single problem in the world, but they are specialized and they know how to help you and make you feel better. And that's something, and it is true, it does work, at least for me. My, my counselor, she's very good. She's very calming, relaxing. She helps me. She does exercise with me to get stuff out. And I haven't gone in a little bit. It's been since summer because I don't have time during school to do it. But um, during the summer, I do do it. Um, and it's, it, it does help. It seriously helps. So just know that, you know, just look forward to it. I used to be so scared and didn't want to go. But then every Wednesday when I had to go, I looked so forward to it. I was like, okay, got to get up at 9 or not 9, 8, get ready, make my bed, clean my room, open my shades, get ready, and let's go. Like, I was excited. I would look forward to it because I knew that it helped me. And that's something that is really good for you. So just, just do it, even if you don't want to. Just ask your parents if you need it. And if your parents don't let you, then talk to a school counselor. Next um, life hack slash tip is to go out of your comfort zone. Meaning by that, I mean if you are shy at school, but you want friends, you want people to notice you, you want, you're you're not confident, not confident because you are very excluded, you're very quiet, you're very kind of just not out there. One thing that can help you make you feel better is open up to people. I, I was just like that. I never wanted to talk to people. I would just kind of like, excluded myself because I was worried about people being mean to me for, you know, the way I looked because I wasn't confident in myself. Um, but now I'm that type of person that will sit next to someone I don't even know and be like, hey, how are you? My name's Jesse. What's your name? And I literally engage with them and then I become friends with them. Like, it's really easy to do that. And I promise you, like, if they don't want to be your friend, that's totally okay. There are so many people that do. There's so many. I'm going to say that I'm going to say the cheesiest quote for relationships, for friendships. There are plenty of fishes in the sea that would love to be your friend. I'm telling you, I would love to be your friend if I knew you guys. But, like, I'm just saying, like, just open up. And I promise you it will make you feel ten times better. Tenth life hack slash tip to make yourself feel better about yourself. This is such a big thing. Like, it may not seem like it. You're gonna, you're probably going to be disappointed when you hear this come out of my mouth. Because you probably aren't thinking this is not the big thing. But just hear me out because it really is. If people give you a compliment, take the compliment. You're not saying how many times people have given me compliments tell me I look pretty. I'm like not really but thanks or like not really but thank you instead of saying not really thank you like i've learned from that i learned to say thank you when someone says they look pretty or beautiful or gorgeous or etc etc i have definitely learned because i had a habit of that i had such a bad habit of saying no i'm not or like no but thank you so much i really appreciate that but i'm really not that pretty or i would say and I'm, I'm literally calling myself out right now because, yeah, I did do this. And I, I got better at it. And now I'm not like that anymore. And I'm so thankful I'm not like that anymore because it shows me how much, how confident I can be in myself. And you guys are probably watching this like, oh, she's such a confident person. Look at her go. Rocket girl. I do have my insecurities. I really do. And if you guys want to see a video on my insecurities and how I got over them or, like, my insecurities and how I deal with them, I would love to do that video. So please comment below and let me know. When someone says, oh, my God, I love your hair today. You look gorgeous say thank you so much you do too or just say thank you i appreciate that or just say thank you it will make you feel better when someone compliments you i promise it will and you're just letting yourself you're putting yourself down more when you say no i'm not like i mean i cannot tell you many times i'm like people have said to me like oh my god you're so pretty how and i'm like girl i'm so ugly like don't even that's totally you and like it's okay when someone comments on your instagram post and you're like and they're like dude you're a queen like you're a goddess you're you're gorgeous and you can be like thank you but that's totally you that's fine but when you say no like that's totally you you may not mean it but if you do mean it take it back because i'm telling you guys right now you are beautiful and i know you hear this every single day this is something that people have been saying a lot more recently with this whole coronavirus thing and the bullying it's just getting out of hand people have been saying a lot more and i know that but you seriously are you are stunning you are incredible you are amazing you are intelligent you are smart you're outstanding all the above. 
But yeah, I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but you guys get the point. When someone tells you you look pretty, say thank you. Don't just tear yourself down even more than other people do. When you say that people like call you ugly or people say that you're not pretty, when you when you tell yourself that you are and you prove those people wrong, they don't know what to say because you're proving them wrong. You're not showing them that you care. And trust me, and I know you're probably like, it's so much harder than you think it is. I know, I know. And I'm not gonna tell you to just act like you don't care when someone makes fun of you. Cause I'm not telling that at all, at all. I'm just telling you when someone says you look pretty, say thank you because there's gonna be people in life that tear you down and you want those people that bring you up to stay by your side. If you want them to stay by your side and hype you up and tell you that you're pretty then say thank you instead of just bringing yourself down more because then they're gonna be like what's the point of even trying to say like they're gonna be like what's the point of even trying to say she looks pretty if she's just gonna bring herself down even more i don't like being around people who sit there and say they're ugly all day i don't like i genuinely don't and that's just me being honest like i and the reason I'm saying that is because I used to be one of those people and it was not fun to be around me. I'm telling you, those people that were around me probably didn't want to be around me. And I've changed. I'm not like that anymore. And I'm in a bad mood. Maybe I'll be like, <laughs> I'll laugh and I'll say thank you. But like, I don't sit there and just say no and then call myself ugly some more just to wait for people to give me compliments. And then, or, and you're not, you may not be doing that. You may just not be confident in yourself and you may not even realize it, but you were you're tearing yourself down more. And this is tough love that I'm giving you guys right now. Tough love. But, like, you're tearing yourself down more when someone tells you you're pretty. Just to say thank you. Please say thank you. And also something that can help you feel better about yourself is bring other people up. Tell them, go up to someone and be like, I love your shirt. You look so pretty today. Be honest with people. Be nice. And then it will make you feel better for being nice to other people. If other people don't give you compliments, give other people compliments. That way you feel better about yourself. And I trust me, when I always tell my mom she looks pretty in the morning, every morning I tell her if I see her. And it makes me feel better about myself that day because I gave someone a compliment and I made them feel better about their day. I love when I'm having a bad day. And you know, my fourth period class, I doubt any of them are watching this right now, but I have no idea. But in my fourth period class, I have a lunch group in there. We're all really close friends, at least I think. We're all pretty good friends. That class, I and I end up crying in a lot because I'm a very emotional person. Yes, I am, I'm not gonna lie to you. I cry a lot, but that's how I let out my emotions. A lot of people don't cry and they let their emotions out by talking. I don't know what that was. I really don't know what that was. I'm so sorry. But, like, I talk and cry, and a lot of times I just can't express how I'm feeling, and I can't say what it is that's bothering me, so I just cry. And that class is the most supportive. Like, my most supportive friends are in that class, and I have a lot of other supportive friends, too. But my, some of my most supportive friends are in there. Like, I'll cry, and one of my friends will be like, dude, you're literally gorgeous. They don't know what they're talking about. Like, you are so beautiful. You are amazing, you're intelligent, you're smart. Like, they'll just hype me up. And you want to be like, that will make you feel better. So when someone else is having a bad day, do that to them. Because I'm telling you, if it makes you feel better, you know that it'll make them feel better too. So just do that. And that was a really long life hack slash tip rant type thing because I, I truly mean it. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you are new, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I write. We're almost 100 subscribers. Guys, we're almost 100 subscribers. If you guys want to see some gymnastic videos, my insecurities and how I face them, slash how I get over them video, let me know. I really want to do this. I have a lot of videos that I have in mind coming up. So please comment below. I really want... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm out of it today. But yeah, I really want to, um, you know, I really want to make some content for you guys that you guys enjoy. I love you guys so much. Bye.